is Vanessa Couchet at Breakaway Physiotherapy, helping you to move beautifully. Today we're going to talk a little bit about ankle impingement syndrome. Now, there are two different kinds of ankle impingement syndrome, but we're going to focus specifically on the posterior one today. So, a little bit about what ankle impingement is, is a soft tissue abnormality or bony abnormality at the end of range that can cause a lot of pain. So, if you want to get this diagnosed, the very best way is through an MRI. However, should there be a little piece of bone that is stuck on the back, and that can happen, not in everyone, but in some people it is there, uh, we can do a lot to actually offload the ankle so it doesn't actually become a really big problem. That little bone is called the ostrogonum. That being said, let's talk a little bit about what we can do for that impingement. So if you come over here with me, we're gonna do the first exercise is going to be just doing a bit of isometric holding. We want to really load up the calf without actually going into that end of range. That end of range there is going to pinch up either that soft tissue or the bone that sticks out there. And we're going to just try and get the muscles to turn on. So we'll start with just holds. Now the holding here, you want to not go down too hard, just stay Stay right at that horizontal level, holding for five times 25 seconds, and build your way up to being able to do that on one foot, three times one minute holds. All right, so that's the first one I want you to do. Secondly, we can look at doing gas pedal movements. Now the gas pedal movement actually works your flexor hallucis longus muscle. Now that one can oftentimes get really, really irritated in this particular injury, and that's because of all the pointing. Now that pointing movement we can see in dancers when they have to always be up on their toes, or in soccer players when they're kicking the ball with that last little bit of range. So let's look at against the wall. We're gonna put the foot up on the wall, not too crazy an angle, that's a bit too much, so try and get just a little bit, and you're going to push your toe, big toe, down into the wall. So you want to really push that big toe down. You're going to feel it in the calf a little bit. Your arch may do some cramping. That's totally all right. And you want to hold that for 45 seconds, five times. And try and get really, really good contraction without trying to blow the wall away. All right? So with those two exercises, that's a really good way to start strengthening and stabilizing that ankle. Any questions at all, come on in. James and I would be happy to take a look. I'm Vanessa Fouché at Breakaway Physiotherapy, helping you to move beautifully.